The Dark Crystal is a beloved 1982 film made by Jim Henson and is one of the staples of Jim Henson's puppetry legacy, as well as one of the most iconic children's films with slightly darker undertones. And I watched this film the day before the new Netflix show, The Dark Crystal Age Resistance, came out so that I could be prepared for that show because it looks really good from the trailers. And a review will come out for that show at some point soon. And I absolutely loved this film so much, and it was way better than I anticipated, even from all the stuff I had seen from it. The imagination and world building on display in this is absolutely stellar. This is one of the few fantasy films, aside from Lord of the Rings, that I can actually remember all of the lore for, as well as all the creatures and their designs. It is a wholly original world, as well as with extremely original creatures. Landstriders, Skeksis, Gelfling, Podlings, Garthrum. The puppetry in the sets here are the best I've ever seen in any film or TV show that uses puppets. The detail in every single tiny thing, as well as the tiny creatures, is just astonishing, and the sets are immaculately designed. The Skeksis were really foreboding, formidable, and just overall great villains, due to the fact that the film is daring enough to go for darker moments that really catch you off guard. Even though I have seen these moments and clips thousands of times, I knew they were coming. They still caught me off guard and put me on edge and really surprised me. Overall, this film is a wonderful, very charming and simple adventure story that really works. And it also has an incredible and instantly memorable score. And the main theme for me is already iconic. And the characters are wonderful in this due to their wonderful adventure. However, they are a bit underwritten. And there is great sound design in this. The opening narration for the film is amazing and very 80s. And you should just watch the opening scene if you're unsure that you want to watch the film or not because the narration is wonderful. However, as mentioned, there are a lot of characters who are underwritten, but it isn't really much of an issue for this kind of film. And there are a few loose ends in the plot by the end of the film, such as where Chamberlain goes off to, he kind of disappears towards the end. But there are only a few things, including that Chamberlain thing. I'm going to give The Dark Crystal 1982 a 9 out of 10. Watch this film right away. It's on Netflix. It's phenomenal. And don't let the puppetry, which some people may view as weird, scare you away from it. It's a phenomenal fantasy film. A wonderful adventure film that is brilliantly done. It's so imaginative and I promise you will enjoy. That was my review of The Dark Crystal 1982 and I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.